Hey, it's Ted here. I'm working on this three liter. I did the uh, fuel pump conversion. We got it running and we ended up going through base timing, training that in the class today. And I wanted to go over these older carbureted engines that have this Delco EST distributor in them and how to time the distributor using a shunt tool. So let's get started. So we have a three liter engine here with a Delco EST distributor. It's very similar to the larger distributors in the fact that it has a pickup coil and it has an ignition module inside. You have this single harness that comes from the distributor here and it goes up to the actual coil. So I'll zoom in here and show you that. So here's the ignition coil and what we have is we have the two wires coming off of that. One is purple, one is gray. This one's for the tachometer. This is the purple voltage that's coming from the key switch and then the coil, of course, going into the distributor. Now, the distributor has two wires that come out of it down here. Here, we get that harness that plugs up into the coil here. You have this plug connection. That's voltage comes from the key switch that also goes up to the choke on the carburetor. It also feeds down here to the ignition bypass circuit that I talked about earlier in a previous video. Uh, there's another connection that's not plugged in. Usually there's a cap on here, which is a four wire plug, and that is where you're going to connect what is known as a shunt tool. So we're gonna look in the book real quick and go over how we time these distributors on carbureted engines. All right, when we go into the book and it talks about finish timing, it talks about timing the engine for this particular engine at zero degrees. And it says this Delco EST brake, this ignition system requires an adapter plug shunt tool, which basically shunts the spark advance in the module and sets it at base timing, that zero degrees. So the part number of that tool is given in the book and it's right here. And that part number from Volvo Pen is 885163-6. If you type that in on a Google search, it'll come up and it looks like this. So what I've done is I've added from that shunt tool a alligator clip because I need to clip this to a positive source when I'm going to time this distributor. So let's just go through the procedure of how you do that. Okay, in preparation to start timing this engine, what you're going to do is you want to start it up and let it warm up. Get it up to operating temperature so it's easy to start. Take your shunt tool, take the plug, if there's a plug connector on here, it's a blank plug, take that off and plug your shunt tool into the distributor. The other end of this, I've put an alligator clip on. What you're gonna do is you need to put that to a positive source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first start the engine up and I wanna run it up to 1500 RPM. So I need to advance the throttle up to 1500 RPMs. At that point, then, you're going to take this and you're gonna connect that to a voltage source. So what I can do is I can come down here and I can connect it right to the actual battery cable down here. So I'm gonna hook it where the battery cable attaches. So we're gonna hook a 12 volt source while it's running at about 1500 RPM. Then what you're gonna do is adjust your distributor timing while it's running and set the base timing at the specification in the book. In this case, it's zero degrees. So I'm gonna disconnect my shunt tool. I'm done with that. The next thing I'm gonna do, I wanna verify my timing is set correctly. So what I need to do is hook a timing light up to the engine, start the engine up, bring it up to 1,000 RPM, and then check my timing with a timing light. I use an advanced timing light at this point because what I need to do is I need to verify that, as the book says, for this particular engine, that the timing advance should be about 15 degrees advance. Now, the timing marks on the engine only go up to about 10 degrees. So that means that the timing mark is gonna be beyond the actual timing indicator that you can read. So you need an advanced timing light and you set it at 15 degrees advanced and your distributor timing should be then at zero, zero on your timing marks when it's running at 1000 RPM. If it is not, go back, plug the shunt tool back in, set it back at zero, and see if it's advancing after you take this off to 15 degrees. If the timing is not advancing after you remove the shunt tool, then that means the ignition module has failed. There's a problem with the ignition module. You don't have any spark advance, and you need a new ignition module. So I hope this shows you how to use the shunt tool 
and how to set the base timing on these older carbureted engines with a Delco EST distributor. I'll talk to you in the next video.